In the capital city tonight, Mayor Pedro Seguera is in a battle for his political life. Yeah, he's looking for a second full term. The mayor already being challenged by a political newcomer that appears to have enough votes to win the Democratic Town Committee endorsement tonight. It comes as the city just had its 19th homicide of the year happen over the weekend. There has been a spike in violent crime in the capital city, and that is a part of this mayor's race. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, live with more. Mark? Hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Political watchers all around Hartford are predicting that Mayor Pedro Segarra will lose the Democratic nomination by the Democratic Town Committee tonight. But no matter what happens tonight, a strong primary challenge is expected. This office is not for sale because this office belongs to us and we own it. We own it. <laughs> There was more than just a hint of ethnic and class warfare politics when Mayor Pedro Segarra received the endorsement of a large union that represents janitors and security guards in the city. Outside interests that don't look like you, don't feel like you, don't respond to you. Luke Bronin has only lived in the city less than 10 years. He was Governor Malloy's legal counsel has a Yale and Oxford pedigree and has never held elective office. But two better known candidates have dropped out and endorsed him. I've knocked on about 3,000 doors now and I hear every single day there's a, just a strong feeling in almost every part of the city and every community that we need to get focused back on neighborhoods. Hartford registered its 19th homicide of the year over the weekend. Broden says Cigarro was slow to respond when the recent spike in violent crime started. It took two months for him to send a letter to the state saying we need some help, and even then it was a pretty modest ask for help. I, I think this is a time that calls for clear leadership. Segarra bristles at that criticism and says the spike can be traced to the high numbers of inmates leaving the big prison on Weston Street. As we're looking closer uh, into the folks that are committing the shootings, we have a very disproportionate number of people who have been recently released into our community. The governor's office disputes that and says there is no evidence to back it up. And then there's the under-construction baseball stadium that Cigarro hopes will spur major development on the downtown north side of the city. I'm not sure it was the right priority, but again, when I get in there, I'm going to do everything I can to make it a success because there's no other choice. The political fireworks are expected to start shortly over at the Democratic Town Committee meeting being held at Bulkley High School in the south end of the city tonight. There are 78 members of the Democratic Town Committee in Hartford. It takes 40 to get the nomination. The loser will have to go out and get 1,700 signatures in order to be on the ballot in September. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.